Now here's that story I was telling you about. With summer coming soon, you may already be looking forward to going to a fair or a carnival. Now one of the highlights are the games, which almost always seems harder than they look. Now a New Hampshire man called police because he thinks the games are a con. Henry Grebham says that he lost his life savings, or $2,600, on a carnival game. His big prize? A stuffed banana with dreadlocks. He played a game called Tubs of Fun, where contestants toss balls into a tub. He said he did great during practice throws, but when he played for real, the balls popped out. After losing $300 in a few minutes, he went home and he got the rest of his money. You get caught up in the whole double or nothing. I've got to win my money back. Now, after losing all of his money, he went back the next day. Now, the man running the game actually gave him $600 back and gave him the banana. But he says he went straight to the police anyways to file a report, and he's actually considering a lawsuit. First Alert Weather is brought to you by the Medical Center. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm just like, what do you say to that? <laughs> that guy doesn't have much appeal. Sorry, all right. Tried. I tried. I tried to. Okay, never mind. 48 degrees right now. First alert live Doppler radar. Seeing a clean sweep all over south central Kentucky. Watch out for a couple of areas of fog this morning. Other than that, things are looking nice and dry. And it's going to be a very spring like day. Temperatures already warming into the upper 40s to low to mid 50s. Temperatures to three, four, thank you. 47, Litchfield and Munfordville, 50 in Edmonton, 51 in Glasgow, Scottsville at 52. It's also 52 in Russellville, 51 up in Hartford at this hour. As we check the hometown forecast today, presented by the Kentucky Lottery, we go to Barron River Lake, including Bowling Green, Glasgow, 81. Your predicted high temperature today with lots of sunshine, maybe 82 for Franklin today, 81 for Scottsville down at the southern end of the lake. The Powerball jackpot estimated to be at $165 million for the Wednesday night drawing, and Mega Millions estimated to be at $114 million. Here's a look at the pollen count. And as you can see, we still have our moderately high tree and grass pollen. That continues to be a problem. And grass pollen now starting to come up almost equal with the tree pollen, as you might expect this time of the year. Beautiful sunrise this morning, live from Doppler Cam. Seeing a little bit of patchy ground fog around the Bowling Green area this morning. So as you're driving into the city here or around Warren County, keep in mind that uh, you may run into a little bit of fog. 48 degrees right now. The dew points are equaling the air temperature. And anytime that happens, you get almost 100% humidity or pretty close to it. And with a clear sky, calm wind, of course, perfect setup for fog. The ground's still cool and wet from the rains. And then we have the warmer air that's coming in over the area. And that's Again, the perfect setup for some patchy fog. Litchfield, you're starting mainly clear this morning with a temperature of 47 there in Grayson County. Munfordville, you're also at 47 with a clear sky. 52 degrees, though, currently in Russellville and Logan County as you're starting mainly clear this morning. Around the region, we have upper 40s to the east, 49 here. Then you start to see some 50s and now even some 60 degree temperatures popping up back to the west. We're there, we're talking 10 to 15 degrees warmer than in this hour yesterday morning back to places like St. Louis and Kansas City. For us, though, we're running about 8 to 10 degrees cooler this morning, thanks to all the cloud cover that we had yesterday morning that finally eroded late day. 12 hour radar showing that things are all clear here. In fact, nothing showing up back to the west that would uh, benefit us as far as any kind of rain or thunderstorm activity. Not that we need that benefit right now. We've got really a lot. We've had a lot of rain in April. A nice break from that would be good, and we're going to see that today and tomorrow. High pressure keeping us very nice and dry. A few clouds will try to work in here maybe late tonight and especially during the day tomorrow. Upper level moisture, nothing down at the surface just yet. The nearest precipitation will start in Missouri and Arkansas as we get into the day Wednesday afternoon and evening into Thursday. This will be our next weather maker here. That uh, cold front slowly moving into the region will bring us our next chance of showers beginning 
Thursday afternoon into Thursday and all through the Derby weekend, off and on showers are going to be there. 81 today, sunny and warmer. Then for tonight, clear and mild, overnight low at 57. Tomorrow we'll make it up to 83 and mostly sunny. 78 Thursday, chance of a shower late in the day. And then scattered showers Friday, thunderstorms at 67. We cool things off, getting ready for the Kentucky Oaks and Kentucky Derby. The 139th run for the roses on Saturday, 62 with scattered showers and staying in the mid to upper 60s Sunday and Monday.